Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to today's vlog, my last vlog from Toronto before we're off to LA. And today's gonna be a good day. I have plans for today. It's 11.15, I've been working all morning just editing a vlog, feeling good about where I'm at with that. So now I have my coffee and a little bagel thin, and then I'm gonna go for a run. It's sunny and beautiful outside, and my ankle's been at 100% for a solid week now that I need to get back out there. Eventually I'm gonna have to try, and I feel like this is a good time to try. It's the perfect day, it's a Monday, and you guys know how I feel about my Mondays. Best day to start a new routine and just start the week off right. So I'm hoping for the best. It's gonna be gorgeous outside. It's already, it's six degrees Celsius, and that's a nice day in February. That's a beautiful day. I said something, I think maybe the last vlog or the one before that, I don't know, about it being warm in February, and somebody was like, I would never call that temperature warm, but you actually really adjust to the temperature when it's cold that this will feel warm to me. So I'm really excited and also like running outside, I will be warm. I haven't ran outside here in so long, so long, like since the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna go for my run around noon. And I think on my way back, I'm gonna stop by Whole Foods, just get a couple things for the next few days. Yeah, I wanna do some laundry because my hamper is super full. Gotta finish my vlog for tomorrow. Gotta start prepping for LA and thinking of what I'm gonna pack. Gotta pick out some stuff for the trip after LA. But I'm starting the day here. Okay, we are gonna go. I'm for sure nervous. For sure nervous. Is there one of you? For sure nervous. I'm nervous about a couple things. One, my ankle. I'm not really nervous about the ankle. I actually think it's gonna be fine, but I am nervous to see what my endurance is like right now because I haven't ran in a month. Nervous to see how my body's gonna feel, for sure. But I'm excited. So I just had one of these little energy shoes. I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to wear. Also, so I had gotten these shoes from the running room, these uh, New Balance 880s. And she said that I could use them a few times on the treadmill because they won't like scuff up the shoe just to see if I like them. And then I saw online that there's actually an all white pair. So I did in fact get those because those more of what I was looking for aesthetically. It didn't really matter like if they didn't have that shoe in a different color I would have just stuck to the ones that I got but because they had an all neutral pair I figure we as well. So I'm gonna return the other pair and we're gonna bring these out today and we're gonna see. These are the ones that I felt the best in. I had been running in Hoka's and you know people rave about so many different shoe brands but everybody's foot and running style is different that like, just don't go off people's recommendations. Do not recommend a certain shoe to somebody because everyone has different needs. So this is what works for me, might not work for you. If you are trying to get into running, I recommend getting fitted by the professionals. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some music, I'm gonna stretch, get myself ready, um, and then we're gonna go. And we're gonna hope for the best. Not easy. First run back, not easy, but I'm two miles in, doing mostly like a walk run, because my endurance is shot. It's shot, but I'm out here and it's a beautiful day, and all is well. I loved that. Now, that was not my best. That was not my best. And I definitely got a little too excited. I definitely got a little too excited. I did just over four miles, which is like six and a half kilometers. I didn't run that whole thing. There's no way, because I feel like I'm starting at zero again. <laughs> I don't know my pace. I don't know how to stick to my pace. Like I was running at a way faster pace today than I was running when I was like, you know, doing it. And I think that's why I was so winded so fast. It felt so good. It also feels like spring outside, like the sun on my skin and just walking back with my groceries. Oh man, I love running. I love that feeling, but I will say by the end, like I feel a little something in my ankle. So I'm gonna text my aunt who's a physio and see if there's any like 
exercises I can do. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to run again until I'm in LA just because I told myself if I felt anything, I was going to stop. I'm going to call my dad and discuss with him. But either way, it felt so good to run again. Like just the biggest smile on my face out there, listening to my music and just having a fucking vibe. It felt great. It felt so good. But let me give you a little Whole Foods haul. I just got a few things because I'm obviously only here for like three days, including today. I got four chicken breasts. I got egg whites. I got these <laughs> immune boosters, immunity powerhouse booster shots. It's ginger and turmeric. I was debating just getting ginger and turmeric myself and then making them with my juicer. But just for the sake of convenience right now, I'm just gonna take these back. And then I wanna get back into making juice shots when I get back from LA or I guess for my next trip. But I'm gonna take one of these now because there's no time to get sick at the moment. I got one singular avocado because the rest were way too hard. They will not be ripe in time. And then I got two kombuchas i've never tried this brand this is tonica kombucha it's a woman-owned brand canadian yeah they sounded good i got the ginger and then i got the pineapple i'm actually gonna have the pineapple one right now and then we're gonna make lunch in a little bit but that felt phenomenal like oh, i just love running it gets me so excited and hyped and, and it just feels so good to be outside running like Mm. I need my ankle to be 100 100 so I never have to think about it again and I can just go out and run and work on runs and then do longer runs and longer runs because the high that you feel out there oh it's the best let's try this cheers oh it smells good I also love kombucha delicious mm. you know what would have been really smart that I thought of while I was running if I had put in laundry while I was out there, then I could have swapped it for the dryer now getting back, but I didn't, I didn't. So, so it goes. I'm gonna call my dad, text my aunt, and then I'm gonna start getting some shit together here. But that was, that was so good. I'm so hyped right now. <laughs> Anyways, let's hope that when you wake up tomorrow, the ankle isn't, you know, you're not limping and shit like that. Yeah, that would be very upsetting. Yeah. I had to. Could you promise me not to go so zippy though? Up. I promise to try my best. Try your best, because I was always trying to pull you back on the pace, because I was keeping the pace that you should have been running in Florida, but you'd always want to be pushing it. I can imagine why I'm not there to pull you back. <laughs> like, you just you just go off. Well, because it's so fun. I know. And you know when you have the music and a nice day? It's unbeatable, the feeling. I was it's... vibing. Okay, well, anyways, you're back. I think Let's so. Let's stay back. Let's stay back. I know. That's the concern now. I it's know, so rude it. when your body and your mind are on different paces. <laughs> I know, but your body's giving you a message. Yeah, and no wonder you were gassed. I know. So I did a walk run, you know? Like, I didn't run that the whole time. Okay, showered, fresh, laundry's in. I'm gonna have these leftovers from the other night and I'm just gonna eat them cold. I don't know, sometimes, not gonna lie, cold leftovers really hit for me. Mmm, <laughs> this is delicious. It's like mushrooms, bok choy, noodles. Once I finish this, I'm just gonna get some work done, do some editing, get my vlog ready for tomorrow. And then I think I'll take a bath tonight, have something yummy for dinner. Solid Monday, good vibes. Mmm. Okay, it's just past seven and I forgot that I had some leftovers. Big leftover day over here. <laughs> I'm gonna have this, it's butter tofu. Like butter chicken, but butter tofu. Very simple, very easy. Do you wanna make anything else on the side? I'm not sure. We could circle back, but I'm gonna take a bath tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. Nice, warm, steamy bath. But I'm gonna have that first and then. I just spent the last two hours in the bath. It's like 9.45 and I realized while I was in the bath that I forgot that I had laundry. So we're gonna switch this out now and then I'm gonna deal with the rest in the morning. And we'll put it away tomorrow. Hello friends, happy Tuesday. It is warm but it's rainy but i'm gonna make myself a really quick little lunch and then i'm going to get my nails done they are so so long and so outgrown but i was trying to wait as long as possible to get them done so that they would be fresh for my trip so they've been kind of killing me like they're really they're really outgrown sometimes this is just how it goes anyways i have approximately 12 13 minutes until i gotta be out of the house and on my way over there so i'm gonna make a very speedy salad this is the easiest little salad ever it is 
effortless and it's delicious. So I have my chicken, then I use half an avocado. It's just like a guacamole salad. It is so yummy to me. So I'm gonna take half an avocado and then mash it up with spices. I always do salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some cayenne, because I like the spice. And I'm gonna cut up my chicken really small and then throw on my lettuce. <laughs> we got our spring mix. We are doing this as fast as possible because I, I could have been doing this five minutes ago. I should have been doing this five minutes ago, but you know what? <laughs> Some things never change. Like I am who I am. And one of these days, I'm just gonna have to accept it or learn how to be better. We'll see. I think my biggest issue is that I will procrastinate and I will, you know, leave things to the last minute and then stress about it, but I always make it work. It's never like something's ever really happened based on my procrastination. You know, I've been okay this far. So maybe in my head, I'm just like, you know what? It always works out. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna go really simple and neutral for my nails for these two upcoming trips. Just keep it clean, keep it simple. Can't go wrong with a nice neutral nail. So I think I might go back to the tried and true Hailey Bieber milky white crown nails. They always look so good and so clean and fresh. So I think that's gonna be the move. I'm trying somebody new again because my nail girl left after the holidays. And the girl that I went to last time she was good, but I do feel like when I left, I looked at my nails and they already looked like they had been grown out a few days, if you know what I'm talking about, where they just don't go all the way to the base of my nail. So we're just gonna, we're gonna keep experimenting until I find the right new nail person. And then right from the nail salon, I'm going actually to the mall with my mom. I have a few things that I wanna get before my trips. And then I'm gonna come home and get some more work done. But right now, priority, food. Shoop. I add a little bit of olive oil and then I just mix it all together until the lettuce is all coated with the avocado and it's so good. Okay, I'm so hungry. Hello. Uh, yeah, the corner's perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good one. simple. The rain's are coming down. It's kind of pouring. Did out. you hear the thunder? No, because I was I was in the salon. Oh yeah, it was crazy. Was lightning too. How fun! Yeah. It'd be great if I was cozy up on the couch, but we were not. Anyways, we're going to the mall. Nails are done. I ended up not doing the chrome, and I went for just a simple milky white. This is Funny Bunny, two coats. Yeah, good old Funny Bunny. Good old Funny Bunny. Nice and reliable. I just think it looks clean and simple and you really can't go wrong. And it's also nice to have them short again because mm -hmm. they were feeling so long, like this is just so much better. Fresh nails are the best. And now we're off to Yorkdale, see what we can find. And we're back. All right guys, we're home. I got things that I can't share in the vlog because just in case somebody might watch this vlog, just in case. But it was a very successful outing. It's down almost four. Gotta get myself ready here because I have plans. I have some time, but I figure I may as well get myself together now so I'm not rushing. Okay, so we are getting ready. Got an evening out. I am looking forward to it. It should be very fun. I don't really wanna say too much because it just feels a little too vulnerable to do that. But I do want to talk about things for the single girls. I've been talking to lots of friends about lots of things, but overall just how scary dating is. Like once you find someone you actually like, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> you know, it's easy to be like, oh, the hard part of dating is finding someone you like because that's really hard. I feel like it's really hard to find anybody these days that you actually align with and you feel like there's potential. But then if you find somebody that you actually see potential in, it's not like suddenly everything is easy, <laughs> at least for the anxious girlies. Like I know for myself personally, if I like somebody and I see potential, I'm like, oh my God, well, it's bound to fail. <laughs> and that's just like my anxious thought process. Obviously that's not reality and people end up in relationships and like it works out. But the process of getting there just stresses me out so much because every time you go on a date with the same person and the vibes are good, you know, obviously you get more excited about the concept of them and like getting to know them better. And while that's exciting and amazing, it also means that you have to be more vulnerable and like put yourself out there and the risk increases of, you know, getting hurt in some regard. And that is scary. That is not a comfortable feeling knowing that to find the right person for you, you have to 100% put like yourself out there and you know that it goes one or two ways. 
and that's so scary. I have a really hard time wanting to let my guard down because of the amount of times people have disappointed me in the past but it's really honestly hard to do but obviously at the other side of that it is like the most rewarding ever but it's certainly a little scary it's a little scary out here maybe for the secure attached girlies like you don't really think twice and you kind of just vibe and take every day by day and like i really try to be that i really try to not think ahead but that's just how i am like i'm a natural planner and like i don't like wasting my time so like if i don't see any potential i'm not going to spend more time with somebody but you also don't know if the other person operates that way too like there's so many unknowns at the beginning of dating that like it's just scary but also really fun and exciting and i'm trying to just be a chill girl and take every day by day and remind myself that every experience is an experience and they all have perks i don't know <laughs> What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Maybe I should just not. Maybe I should just stop saying things because I feel like I'm just word vomiting um, for no reason. So I'm gonna stop talking about this. Um, but I am excited for tonight. That's where I'm at. That's where we're. That's where we are. I'm gonna put on some music and I'm just gonna do my face. The thunder! Oh my god, I actually like, felt that standing here. The fact that I could hear that through my music. Woohoo! She's a storming. She's storming. Stormy baby. <laughs> Hello guys, it is actually the next day. It's the next evening, night before LA. <laughs> I fully planned on ending this vlog yesterday before I went out, but then he got here a little early, so I didn't end up getting to film my clip. So I've decided now we're just gonna keep the vlog going and we're gonna pack together. I'm actually gonna pack the day before, which is, you know, if you know me, unheard of. This does not happen. But I figure if I do it now, I have a whole free morning tomorrow, which sounds really nice. And then I don't have to stress. Not that I feel stressed anyways. Like I've had a very stress-free day thus far. I've just been working and it's been, a, it's been very balanced. I am a little tired. So I am going to have an early night. I'm going to get into bed as early as I can, truly. We'll see when that is, but it is 6.45. I'm going to pack. And because it's such a quick trip, like this won't really take me a long time. This should take 10 minutes i think i can have this done by seven then i can make a little dinner and then i can get back to my actor book so if i can i will always 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 pack in a carry-on i just like the convenience of carry-on i like to get through airports as quick as possible and i just don't like having to wait for my bag at like the baggage carousel i like to get off the plane and then get right to my destination and i'm really only in la for five full days so this is a really quick trip this is going to be effortless i actually started thinking of what i needed to pack before i started talking to you guys right now because i figure if i have a sense of a plan of all my activities for the trip it's easier for me to figure out what i want to wear for all said activities so i'm getting into la at like 2 30 p.m tomorrow and i have plans in the evening so i gotta pick an outfit for tomorrow evening i have a plan and we're gonna start putting it together i will say that la winters are not what they used to be like when i first moved to la i remember it being like 80 degrees sunny and beautiful every single day in january february like it was always so nice it is it is not like doing that anymore la is you know only a little bit nicer than here with rain so uh we're just gonna pack jeans casual little outfits and pack one of these two blue jeans i don't know or maybe these i'm gonna i'm gonna try on a few different pairs of jeans but we're gonna throw those at the side white cargos be like a good option okay so i wanted jeans cute top and little cardigan let's focus in let's get this done Okay, I've definitely overdone it. Um, I've overpacked, so we're gonna have to circle back to this. But I am gonna make dinner. And dinner the night before a travel day is usually whatever I can make out of things in my fridge. And I've, I've been thinking about roasting up these tomatoes and making like a creamy sauce and throw that on some chicken. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I thought I had cream, but I don't think I have cream. That's okay. That's all right. Oh, I do have cream. Spotted at the last second. Okay. Brilliant. I got these like a week ago and I have not used them. So this is kind of perfect. I'm just gonna make all of them and there's gonna be a lot of sauce. We're gonna wash these and then I'm gonna clean my pan.
I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I'm just gonna add some spinach and then some cream. And I'm just gonna eat all these tomatoes. <laughs> I love cherry tomatoes, especially when they're coated in garlic. So, <laughs> can't go wrong. Love tomatoes. Literally, where'd the chicken go? Where'd it go? Hilarious. Now, while this smells really good, will it taste good? I don't think it can taste bad, but is it gonna be as flavorful as I'm hoping it to be? We will see. <clears throat> My mom just sent me a video, Brady. She's feeding her a carrot. That's so cute. Cheers. Mmm, the tomatoes are so juicy. I need to do this more. That, I, this is why I bought the tomatoes, but then I never got around to actually doing it. So I'm glad this happened. I'm glad this worked out for me. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm actually gonna take a shower and wash my hair because it's feeling a little greasy. Figure I may as well get ahead of it so that when I land tomorrow, I don't have to shower and wash my hair. Oh, I can't believe that's tomorrow. I can't believe I'm gonna be in LA tomorrow. That's crazy to me. <laughs> All right, that was success. Bag is mostly packed now, so this feels solid. Easy in the morning, like five minutes. Skincare is done, glasses are on, and it's bedtime. <laughs> I did bring my laptop in bed though because I have to finish some work. I wanna finish editing this vlog and get it uploaded and then scheduled for Friday so that I don't even have to think about it tomorrow. Also have to edit some sponsored content, so I'm gonna do all that. Hopefully I can finish that up in the next hour, and then I gotta get back to the fairies. <laughs> Huge shout out to the girl who sent me the Kindle copies of the other Akatar books. Literally, I opened my email and they were all attached. Like that was so generous and so nice. And I'm so appreciative, truly, thank you. Because I can't really, I can't, these are massive books. I cannot pack them all in my suitcase. So thank you. I also just prefer reading at night on my Kindle. It's just nicer. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog officially here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for being here. Also, I will be posting real time on my Instagram stories and TikTok if you wanna see what's going on in LA. But if not, I will see you in the next vlog from Los Angeles. Bye.